everyone. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you all are enjoying today's Stamp Affair festivities. In my tutorial today, I hope you enjoy my taking you through the process of transforming just a simple plain old popsicle stick into a piece of beautiful handcrafted jewelry. Let's get to it. Hopefully most of you have done your homework and have already preformed your own set of bangles to work with today. But if not, no worries. You can find instructions on the process at Nicole Hetty's blog. To begin, you'll need your formed bangle and some fine grit, fine grit sandpaper. I believe the grit on this is 220. Just need a little piece here and uh, wrap it around your finger and just lightly sand away. What you're doing here, what you're doing here is. Um, Sanding to remove any obvious splinters that have formed after bending and shaping the popsicle stick. There's no need to sand this completely smooth because when you paint or cover this bangle with paper, um, that will remove a lot of the, um, the roughness. You can go ahead and sand the inside too if it feels a little rough. So with sanding complete, we can move on to the transformation of these popsicle stick bangles. There are two ways that I'm going to show you how to do this in this tutorial. First is with paint and the second will be later on with paper. With paint, you'll need the basic supplies paintbrush, uh, water, a cup of water, paper towel, and your paint. I like to begin by painting the inside first. Once the inside's done, I like to paint just one of the, the edges. With only one side painted, I can let this sit on the unpainted side and rest without um, concern of ruining it or concern of it getting stuck to, to, to the paper. Okay, so the inside's dry. I'll move on to the outside. Okay, it's all painted. One final step I like to do is take a nice dab of paint and from one end of the bracelet all the way to the other, create one nice final stroke. Just gives it a nice finished, un, uh, finished even look. Once the paint is dry, you can choose to leave it as is or you can um, embellish it a little bit farther using your stamps. And I have found the best way to stamp a design onto the painted bangle is by heat embossing it. For this bangle, I've chose to work with uh, recently released Choose Joy Paper Tree Ink Stamp Set. So I'm going to be a little adventurous today and do something that I have never done before. I am going to cut my stamp apart and I want to use just the word heart. So here we go, I'm gonna butcher the poor stamp. There we go. So I have the heart separated from the rest of the sentiment. And if any time in the future you want to have the original formation of the sentiment, all you have to do is piece the two back together. Stick it to your acrylic block and it's almost like new. But for now, like I said, I just want to work with the word heart. Using a bit of Versamark, ink that baby up. Oh, 
Okay, here's where it gets a little tricky. Different from if you were to be stamping on, on paper, stamping and embossing on paper. What I'm going to need to do is eyeball it, but I need to press the stamp. I need to roll the bracelet onto this stamp because it's not a flat surface. So by starting at one end, it's hard to see probably in this video, put pressure on one end of the stamp and roll the bracelet across. I'm going to work with some gold embossing powder here. I think the gold will pop off the white very nicely. Okay, first step of the embossing is done. I also would like to incorporate this tiny little heart here from the same set, stamp set, right where the period is at the T, at the bottom of the T there. Uh, since it's such a tiny little stamp, there's no rocking motion involved to um, stamp it onto the bracelet. So I'm just going to stamp onto the bracelet like so. Ever so carefully. Okay, I also wanted to show you guys how to stamp a pattern all the way across a bracelet. So I've chosen a long image from, or a border image from the... Southwestern style stamp set from Paper Tray Ink. So ink that up with a Universal Mark. Okay, you're gonna want to start from one end and roll your bracelet across the inked up image. Okay, so I am going to have to do this process again because this one little strip only went this far across on the bracelet. But I don't want to ink it up quite yet because I can't really see the original pattern that's there. So I will set that pattern with my embossing powder. Okay, with that set, it's much easier for me to see the pattern much easier for me to continue on from here. So let's repeat the process. Ink it up. And roll. Okay, and there you have it, one continuous pattern across the bracelet. Okay, so we've taken a look as to what it takes to paint and heat emboss these bangles. Next, we'll go over the second way to embellish your bangles, and that is with pattern paper. Really, you can work with any pattern paper you choose. And what is necessary that is that it is long enough to cover an entire popsicle stick or an entire bangle. Okay, now it's time to get messy. Time to glue the pattern paper to the bangle. I um, like to use this Tombow Mono Multi Glue. Works great. <coughs> run a bit on the bangle and then we need to spread it to cover the entire surface we want that paper to go nowhere okay work from one end to the other Adding pressure as you place the paper across the bangle. Try and keep your fingers as clean as possible here. Whoops. 
you don't want to smear your glue onto the pattern paper and make it ugly and dirty looking. So I like to keep a wipey handy. All right, once you have that adhered, I like to, well, you're gonna let this dry, but what I like to do is take is to use a couple paper clips and just place those oops, on the ends here so that nothing is going to pop off in the drying process. Everything's just gonna stay put. All right, once the glue has dried, we can trim off the excess with some scissors. Just trim as close to the, the bangle as you possibly can. There you have it, that's a fairly easy step. Okay, and the edges may appear to be a little rough. And they might be able, you, they may need, be, they may be in need of a little sanding. But I wouldn't sand too much, especially if your glue is still a little wet. And honestly, that step may not even be required. All right, at this point, your bangle is already starting to look pretty nice, but we're not done. If you choose to, you can um, embellish farther with some rhinestones or some gems, maybe some glitter, or maybe some stamps on top of the pattern paper. Um, but that could be done at this point. Also, I forgot to mention, the inside of the bangle could also be painted before applying the um, pattern play pattern paper to the outside you can coordinate that beautifully with the colors in the pattern paper if you choose to I chose to just go natural but the next step is to add a glossy finish so after you are finished embellishing with your chosen embellishment we are going to go ahead and apply a coat of oh dear what did I do with it oh here we go of Mod Podge to give it a glossy look. Just like we did earlier with the acrylic paint, we're going to paint this Mod Podge, on, Mod Podge on. So I've got my painting supplies out again. And I'll paint away. Need a little bit of this stuff on the edges. Can't forget about those guys. All right. One more stroke across the top. Okay, all that's left to do now is to dry this baby. And the way I like to do it when the entire thing is covered with glue or paint or whatever is to take a nice heavy glass and just set it on the edge there and let it dry. Now check out the shine on these bangles. I hope you've had fun watching me make a mess through this whole bangle making process. Now it's your turn to handcraft your own beautiful bangles. Have a blast selecting your favorite colors of paint and embossing powders. Whip out those patterned papers and stamps that make you smile. Mix and match to your heart's desire. Create a bangle or two or three. That's just your style. Or perhaps create a set that's perfect for gifting. Here are some additional bangle com combos to help inspire you and get you started.